these little green dudes over here, they are the Vascones. They have been a pain in the arse the past few parts. But we have whittled them down to Portus, Aminum, Iruna and Burdigala. I don't think they have anything else because the Volkai have been very, very aggressive. They've taken Emporii, Tolosa and they took Elurda off us as well. As well as Cesis down here. So we have two wars on two different fronts. I'm hoping to crush these first. I really need to take this city. If I can take this Aruna, I should be able to easily branch out and defeat everyone else. So it looks like we're in the end turn phase from last time. Just going to quickly double check this. So we have 11 out of 20 here. The reach of Candamius. He's going for Portus Aminum. He should be able to take that, I think. Let's see. Oh my god, look at the public order. They're going to be, uh, in two turns time, they're going to be a little bit unhappy. So that's good for me. Numantia, we are. Ooh, we got some, some things to rebuild. Can't afford it at the moment. Have a small army there as well. What's my garrison like? Pretty strong garrison. I got an army here, which I think I was moving to Salduba, and of course we have an army in Salduba as well, which I think I took. I took Salduba in the last episode. So I think I can probably end turn, and we'll see how things unravel in this. Oh, oh, of course, in this campaign. I forgot to move my ship, oh well. <laughs> that ship is going to go to towards Gaul, towards uh, the Volkai, just flank around Iberia. I think uh, that's what I was planning to do in the previous previous episode. And what are the Vascones up to? My god. Spy, ah, oh, no, don't go. Don't go. Did they work? Oh, shit. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> they're attacking me with three units of slingers, one of them is depleted, and a general. I have a cavalry, which can easily take care of the three skirmishers, plus some spearmen, plus my ballista. So, as always, I shall see you all on the battle map. Hello, and welcome back to the battle map. So, we're going to put my ballista on quick reload. I'm going to flank around with the cavalry. My ballista, what range does my ballista have? Oh, we will be firing shortly, that will be good for me. I'm going to keep it on standard round because you do get more kills with standard round, I believe. I'm going to push up with the spearman as well. The more time my ballista has, the better. If I can try to divide these four units, try and get the skirmishers uh, to go towards the cavalry, I would be very grateful indeed. We just need to stay off there, general. I might actually try and flank right with this one, like so. Flank left with this. When there's a little bit of a gap, which is starting to open up right now, that is when we will attack them. My ballista is going to go straight for the general as well. It's going to be awkward because I need to get some clean shots away without taking on my own my own general out of it. My general got quite good stats as well. He has rally. He has inspire. My God. Frenzy charge. What else do we have? We have second wind. Right, we'll take these out now. Here we go, lovely. Straight in there with the cavalry charge. And we are taking them out. They are decimated. Oh my. And the general looks like he's going to turn around, maybe? I don't know. Nope, it's because we had a f clean ballista shot on him. Now we can turn the spearman back around. Holy shit. Right, this is good. This is good. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We're going to win this battle, guys. I haven't lost a man yet. It'd be nice if I could win this battle without losing anybody. Let's... Bring the spears back because we might be in range of their slingers. I think we are indeed. Yes, we are. Oh, I want to get my cavalry to get a clean charge on the slingers. We have lost some spearmen. How many have we lost? Lost five. Oh, see, lost five of them. This is okay though. I'm gonna try and go for a couple of manual shots. Manuel. Oh shit. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Shit. I like what they're doing with the, the, the missile troops, though. They're moving them away. My cavalry is going to be right to pounce. We're just going to continue our fire on the general for now. Keep whittling away at the general. Noble cavalry. I'm going to try a manual shot myself. That looks a little bit better. He is getting pummeled. Yes, that's good. Pretty much. They're just sitting there. I thought they'd come out and actually attack me. A little bit surprised. Oh, that's terrible. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, Spearman. Spearman. Keep retreating. I'm just going to try to drag them away. Oh, they're 
you might attack you attack my blister this is okay though the blisters my god the blisters taking out half of their unit already we can we could probably charge them now but I want to conserve some of my units don't want to just waste men it would be a bit of a waste if I did do that I think I'm probably in range now to charge I am I'm gonna go for it there we go general is gonna go for a little charge well he's a little bit tired actually he's very tired my general his let's see he's got the red legs he's got the exhausted red legs that's not good that's why his charge is so slow and it's uphill as well they may even get a few shots away on the slingers the slingers might get a few shots away on the cavalry so I'm gonna charge both in to try to to mess with their minds their generals down to 78 let's get a manual shot on these while they oh I can't reach them that's a shame okay I'll forget about that for now Wow! Damn it! Why am I so crap? Noble cavalry. Are they in range now? Oh, they are. They? Oh, I can't even hit them from that close. That's that's a that's a shameful display. How about they? Looks good. Oh yes, that was lovely. Break their legs. And we have ammunition. Noble cavalry. Get them to drop it because they're out of ammunition and just get them to run up there. Not going to waste them. Get the spearmen down there. Frenzy charge. I know they're exhausted, but I need to try and get these these men routed. Get them routed. That would be good. Get the spears to flank around. They're down to 62. We should be able to, to do it. What I will do, I'll attack them from one side and hit them with a charge from the other once this unit has routed. We are getting some good experience as well. 132 kills, 0 kills, and 123. It's not bad. Noble cavalry. Warriors ready. There we go. Now we go for the charge. Oh, they're routed anyway. I might actually continue this battle just to get this general defeated on the campaign map yeah we we'll continue I'm gonna fast forward it though just because it'll be a bit boring it reminds me of the hammer from Super Smash Brothers when it put on fast like this I can't remember what it's called is it just called the hammer master hammer no master hand that was the big white glove which you had to defeat one of the bosses and you guys are probably thinking, my god, Dragonheart, why are you talking about Nintendo products on a Total War game? Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Run, little goat. Is it a goat? I think it's a goat. Sheep? Goat? I'm going to go with the... Oh, no, it's a deer. <laughs> I think deers are goats. Four of them remaining. Boom, 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 boom. They're going to be dead. Yeah, I think they're dead. Whoop, chase someone else now down there there's the remaining men in the unit two of them remaining are they going to be caught I think this one might be caught do you oh will you get there just over the line he got there end the battle only lost eight I'm very happy with that lost eight spearmen to their slingers and that was quite an easy battle it's one of the things which does disappoint me a little bit is when you get like slinger spam although they could have been recruiting a an army the turn before previously so yeah. Oh, come on, I killed the general. I hate when that happens. Celtic Confederation, Volkai. What are they doing? Oh, shit. Libya, increase in rank. Okay. Sabotage and bankrupt. Plenty to deal with. So let's zoom all the way back to the north. King in the north, right. This was the army I just won with. So we are going to upgrade. What can we upgrade? Let's do so. Look. Zeal, authority, cunning, map movement, I like that. Go a little bit further. We like it when we can go a bit further. We can actually attack this army here. I'm going to auto-resolve this because it's just going to be boring to watch. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. 54%? My god, what is... I'm going to go for protective stance. Is this going to be bullshit auto-resolve? A little bit. Oh, this is what I hate when they just don't disappear for fuck's sake disappear okay they don't stand a chance against all these it's just auto resolve what gives me the most they're all the same boom and there's his ghost <laughs> 
Fuck yeah, right. Release. Release the hounds. So, that's him then. I'm going to bring him into Salduba's region. And you can, like, we had an increase again, which is good, so we can go for authority, plus minus two corruption. Cunning, melee defense against... Four. There we go, melee defense. That's useful to have. Oh my god, look at the camp in around Iruna. Holy shit. If only I had money for my spy. Right, we're going to try and take Portus Aminum now, I think. Can we get there, though? I don't think we can get there. Shit. Right, that's a shame. Are you sure we can't get there? What is stopping us? Uh, not enough movement points, but looks of things. Kind of, kind of, kind of unfortunate. <sighs> and they got big armies which could easily pounce. I wish I had another army to pin them down with. Don't think I have. Let's see. I took the army out of Helmantica, Ostarica. Let's have a look. Minus twenty. It's minus twenty. Minus seven. Minus fifteen. Oh, so I'll just double check this. Rebellion five turns. Can I stop rebellion with? Uh, look at the swordsman. It'd be a shame not to use it. Let's, let's use this army as well. Let's just go mental, guys. Let's just get this army to run towards Aruna. How many turns? One, two, three. Th three turns it will take us to get to Aruna. If I, if I get a rebellion pop up, then so be it. It's not the end of the world. If I take Portus Ammonon, though, is that part of this region? I don't think it is. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Portus Ammonon. Minus 95 in their region. My god, they're going to have a rebellion next turn anyway so maybe I should have moved this army towards Aruna anyway <sighs> in hindsight that would have made a bit more sense oh well it doesn't matter this army's in force march a shame I can't attack them or well, maybe I can <gasps> not quite that's a shame lots of mercenaries it's crippling my economy unfortunately but why are you gonna do why are you gonna do right let's just check my my forces the Shoal of Durius. Oh, my ship, of course. Let's move my ship this time, because I keep forgetting. What do I need to? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. So how far can he go? That's as far as he can go. Okay, that's fine. Lusitani Terra, that's being moved. Defenders of Lugos, that's in Salduba. Champions of Ebora. Oh, I should probably use this army. Bugger Carthage. What do you think? Is it? Um, I'm just going to check my objectives because I'm on I'm on good terms with Carthage. I'm trading, and they love me. And why wouldn't they? So maybe, uh, whoops, wrong one. Objectives: Galatia, that's in the north. Yeah, all of these lands is in. It's only the Turtitania lands which I need off Carthage, but I can probably take them right at the end of this this campaign. Oh, ultimate objectives I want to look at. Ah, and you actually need. Control 50 settlements, either by direct ownership or through military allies. Currently have 12. Complete control of the following six provinces. Need Galatia, yeah. Latium is a. That's over in Italy, isn't it? What? They expect me to go to Italy? And Africa, down here. We take Africa last. Yeah, I think we're probably going to move this army then. Get rid of this. Stick them in a forced march. Get their asses going up here. Oh, what the hell? That's where you want to go. What the hell? This is a bit risky, but I think it's probably for the best. It's gonna take me, it's gonna take me quite a lot of turns to actually get there. But I, I, you know, I think that could probably change the war. I could expand Kartuba, but I don't want to have any slums. I got enough negative effects as it is. I'm gonna have rebellions pop up all over the place before long. Most of my actual settlements are pretty negative towards me. Mauritani, that's not mine, is it? Mauritani? Oh, Rutabis, of course. Oh, any uh, change all these in Rutabis? No wonder they pissed. They're gonna be even more pissed now. Move that big army as well. Oh, I can't afford nothing. Okay, so plenty to try to sort out, but we will work on that now in a few turns' time. I think this army is probably in force march. Could probably gonna attack Saldu, but now I have a garrison of ten, which isn't very good garrison because they're all depleted. I have an army of 14 plus an army of 3. Might be able to do it. Got Ballista, so who knows. Ready for orders, sir. I wonder, I wonder. I was going to check something. For the Scones, would you be interested in peace? You would be interested in peace. Ah, oh, you pricks. I think you're a bunch of pricks. They wouldn't just join... Oh. They would. 
actually I could get peace and then finish them. They only go this and this. I can just focus on the Volkai and then come around for them. I wonder if they'll give me some money as well. Three? It's moderate for three. Let's try it. Peace. Two thousand. Uh, okay, so we got peace. Right, the plan. I wonder if we can get some. Uh, they won't accept money. <laughs> Off them two thousand. <laughs> Be funny if this worked. Nope. Didn't think it would. Right, so we're we're not at war with these now. So all of these armies are going to come back on my lands. This spy is now going to be moving down here. This army can stay there. The big army I got here. The rest of the battle is now going to go to Salduber itself. We're going to take out Cesis, Elurda, Tolosa, and Emporii. Plus wherever they have up here. We're going to take most of Gaul. So that way we're pushing towards Italy. And then we can sail right well not sail but we can turn our focus back towards these we'll just go straight for Aruna because they're best settlement and then Burdigala and Portus Aminum will fall in line although if I just take this this uh, capital by here they may join a confederation with me so we will have to w see how it plays out but for the time being actually no I'm gonna uh, what, may I do want, what do I want to do here Mantia, Mantia. what's the worst public order this, this province wasn't it yeah, I need port. I need port as Animan back. Shit. Right, we'll end turn. We're not bankrupt anyway. That's the, that's the good thing. Just trying to work out what the best course of action was. The Viscones moving all their armies now. Bloody trespassing. <laughs> Just wage war on them again. Fuck it. Take them all on. Holy shit, right, so... Ah, oh, do nothing, fuck that. Right, Trespasser, Vascones, Trespasser, Vascones. They're a bunch of bastards, I know, right, this big army moved up somewhere, holy shit, there's... Is that me? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Vascones, who's at war with me? Volkai, here they are, Volkai. I saw an army appear, what's this? Oh, it's the rebels. Ah, see, yeah, I could move this army back. Back there, maybe, I don't know. Uh, this army is going to come down. We're not, we're not going to force march. We're just going to casually walk to Salduba. This army is going to force march, though. We need to get there quickly, and we got the full stack, which is going to be the big difference. This army has 20 people in it. Can we actually get these people to come towards us? Nope. What about if I attack these here? Military sabotage. Stop those load. We'll try and poison them. Hopefully it'll work. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Right. Holy shit, guys. Right. We have Ballista and shit. Let's get them within range. I could hire some more mercenaries. I will disband the mercenaries from this army once I win this battle. If I win this battle, I should say. Yeah, I should say if, because look at the balance of power. My reinforcements are there. Got a pretty good star general as well. They're not being fair, are they? Six star general. I Ionikos. Anyway, we will fight this on the battle map. I'll see you all there. Hello everyone and welcome back. So as you can see we have my slingers in the front line. Ooh, speech. Simply. Okay, so welcome back and my reinforcements, I think. Yes, these are my reinforcements. Excellent. Let's just get the ballista a little bit forward. I have some more cav which I'm gonna bring to the center. And I have some spearmen which I'm gonna bring to the center as well. As you can see they are pushing forward slowly. I have grouped all my cavalry on the right flank. I'm hoping that when they get a bit nearer I can actually go for a little charge straight into them, into their flank. Maybe take out their mercenary noble horse. They have Celtic warriors. 
the spearman at the back, the freeman I need to watch out for. The general is protected on the other flank, unfortunately for me. Where's my ballista gone? Ballista! Taking forever to get into position, the ballista is. Ballista! Bring all this shit forward. Would mind going for a little charge now. We're gonna just bring ourselves forward a little bit. I can actually bring my skirmishers forward as well. Straighten this line up a little bit. Awesome, right. I think I can do this. I like the background of the big la uh, sea lake going all the way through. Looks quite, quite cool. Just go for walking speed and, and then we we'll build up some pace and actually go for it with them. My skirmishers, right click to get the quick reload going as well. Bring him up there. Spearman! Get them on quick reload because we want to get that going. Lord knows we need that going. They're just walking for the time being. So is my cavalry. Just going to creep up on them. See if they reform or anything. They may reform, they may not. Here they go. They're going to come for me. I hope they do come for me because I'm going to go straight for them. In a few moments time. Wait for it guys, wait for it. In. Die. Tree. Here they go. Boom. Holy shit. Hopefully we'll take them out. Mind you, they are noble horses. I didn't think they suited I. Ah, oh, shit. Only got 78. The remaining. I may have just throw my cavalry away for no reason. Fuck. See, I was hoping that with the frenzy charge going downhill, that would actually work. But I was mistaken by the looks of things. 72. We've lost a few. Oh, the general's coming my way now. He did it my way. Come on guys, just keep slinging, just keep slinging. Let's go for a charge. Noble Cavalry is going to come in handy now. Let's get this bullshit going as well. Oh please, 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 please. It looks good. Fire! Holy shit, that was good. We need to work on taking their general out. 357, not too bad. If we can bullshit them up there, then we might be able to take the general out at least. Ooh, my cavalry shit, where did he go? Inspire today, perspire tomorrow. Get the rhythm going, guys. Get the rhythm going. Now this little bullshit's gonna go in. Boom, boom. Fire for king and country. We're gonna get headhunt and we're gonna get frenzy on. Plenty of men route in. We have mass routes. We have mass routes, guys. Get them going as well. This cavalry can come back. I've, I've probably lost more men than I could have, but. I want to get this battle done, but they will say, "Oh, it's gonna hit the horse." Oh, maybe, maybe not. Probably friendly firing. So let's get some of these slingers to stop. Oops, wrong button. Stop firing. Let's get all them. Now let's get them reformed. Holy crap! What do we have? Boom, boom, boom. Go for the skirmishers with them. I know my horses are there. I'm sacrificing those damn horses though, just to get this this shot in. The general's routing. Will I get anyone? Oh, oh, he's gone. <laughs> Floating horses. I think I've won this battle. Excellent. Excellent. We're gonna end battle. Close victory. With the most kills, my mercenary swordsman by the looks of things, 292. Very nice, very nice kills.
But, um, oh, 315. Kill the captives. Yeah, this is a lot better. Focusing on one faction like this is going to do me the power of good in this campaign. What do they have left? They have bullshit left. I'm thinking I can hunt them down. Yeah, I can probably auto resolve this one. Boom, boom, boom. I'm auto I don't want to. Ooh, shit, he jumped up then. Oh, only a close victory. Kill them all. See, I hate this with auto resolving because they just. Even when you actually fight the battles, they just don't die, they just stay on the map for ages. Like this. Just irritating. Anyway, the important thing is that I've defeated this army. I'll be able to take them out next turn, I'm just going to march on Cesis and Il Iluda. Get it right this time. And this army is f force marching. This one, this one can probably force march a bit more actually. Now that we've pushed them out, we can force march both of these get to Saldu, that's where we're going to camp in Saldu, where we push out for Cesis and Alerda, then Emporii, then Tolosa, then whatever's up there. We're just going to steamroll the Volkai. We're just throwing everything up to the north now. We have a, an army from the sea, from all the way in the Gaetuli lands down here. The champions of Ebora, they're going to go straight for uh, the Volkai. Ooh, is that a whale? Oh my god, it's a whale. Hello. Hello, little whale. Oh my god. Oh, it's a dolphin or it's a whale? I think it's a whale. Shit. <laughs> I think I'm going to end the episode on that, so... <laughs> yeah, I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've all enjoyed. Until next time, goodbye.